Gen Con coverage is brought to you by Hit Point Press. From animated spell and tarot cards to their breathtaking Humblewood campaign setting and adventure to the award-winning series The Big Bads, Hit Point Press is your one-stop shop for amazing 5e content. Check out our links below for all the gaming goodness. Welcome back to Gen Con 2023. We couldn't leave the con without coming by our good buddies Beetle and Grimm, senior booth this year. Thank you so much. John, it's great to see you. How's everything going? Everything's going great. Having a great con. It is absolutely swamped today. Packed. I think this is maybe the busiest day so far. I heard they might have sold out. So yeah, y'all yeah. are getting slammed. What are people most interested in here at uh, Beetle and Grimm's this year? Well, I think everybody's always interested in something like a Curse, a Curse of Strahd Legendary Edition. But we have some new things at the con here that people have been really excited about. Some things like our new Game Master Journal, our new Player Journals, our brand new Encounter Cards have, got, have gathered a lot of interest. So it's been, it's been great. Tell us a little bit about those journals, because today was the first time I'd seen those. They seem to be game system agnostic, correct? That's right. That's right. They're game system agnostic. Uh, we have both the GM journal and the player journal, and it has everything you need to keep track of everything about your player and as well as like a diary section or a journal section where you can keep notes on your adventure. And these remind me a little bit of your Pathfinder uh, books that we see behind us here, the Character Chronicles. These have the rules in them. These are more like just keeping track of your story, your NPCs, and things like that. Are y'all looking to expand this any further? Has that been uh, conversations ongoing? I just want to keep asking that because people keep asking me. Yeah, we've, we've discussed it. We're, we're not sure we're going to do that anytime soon. Pathfinder players love these. These have, uh, the if you're playing a wizard, it has all the pages from the from the from the rule books for wizards only, and then it has all of the uh, area for, for you to add all of the player information and all of the diary information in the back with all sorts of uh, you know drawing, places to map, places to write, places to draw. So these have been very popular. This is one of my favorite things I've ever made, and that's a hard choice to make because y'all make so much amazing stuff. Thanks. But just the, the character detail, all the little fun details, like in the Fighter's Journal, the, the kind of catalog of equipment that you can buy. Yeah. There's so much fun stuff in this. So I hope eventually we can get back to doing more of those. Yeah, yeah, we do too. Thanks. The one thing I'm really excited about, though, is coming up in October, I believe, yes. we have behind me here Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. Now, the Lost Minds of Fandelver is the, the way we got into D&D uh, to, to begin with. It was the very first module we played. I think a lot of people have started off in Fandolin, and I loved it so much that now all my campaigns, no matter what campaign it is, starts off in Fandolin. We started Curse of Strahd in Fandolin, we started Storm King's Thunder in Fandolin, and those NPCs keep recurring in the same. So all my adventures take place in the same universe. So I can't oh, nice. wait to see this adventure. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect with this big box. Yeah, so our only other legendary edition is Curse of Strahd. But when we heard they were doing this, we were like, this has to be legendary. This has to be a legendary edition. So yeah, I mean, as you know, it's beloved, right? So this box is going to be at a, like a Strahd level. There's going to be 32 battle maps in there. There's going to be a massive pile of in-world handouts. There's going to be five uh, WizKids painted minis that we can't announce yet because they're spoilery okay. for the end of the adventure. So we can't say what they are, but they will be in there. Uh, it comes with all new faction jewelry. So a new, they've, they've redesigned the symbols for Harper's and the Zentarum and the Emerald Enclave. And so we have all new jewelry pieces for those. Those are gonna be a, a, a player favorite. We've got uh, encounter cards as usual, a Fandalen DM screen, a big stack of new magic item cards, and all kinds of other player and DM aids. I have to ask about the minis, because you know we at the Gallant Goblin love our minis. Are the minis that are included in this set unique to this set, or are they from the main booster set that's coming out from WizKids? So they are, the, they are minis that exist, but the paint job is unique to this box that you won't find anywhere else. So they're, they're, un, they're uniquely uh, colored for this box. Gotcha. I can't wait to see it. And we're hoping to get our hands on the official adventure here soon, too, because I, I can't wait to see what they've done with it. I'm so excited. Yeah, it, it should be really exciting. It goes, instead of one to five, now it expands into much higher levels. That was such a, a ripe adventure for just jumping off 
and to see what they've done with them. They've done some stuff on D&D Beyond as well, yep. the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. So, and they even did, uh, what was the uh, cartoon? Uh, oh, the... Um, uh, uh, Incor uh, Acquisitions Incorporated did oh, their yeah. little adventure starting in Fandolin that's as well. Right, that's right, that's right. So it's seen a lot of play, so I can't wait to see what they've done with it. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, the uh, Spelljammer set setting up here as well. That is one that we're we're a little behind. This is the one that we still need to review. I can't wait to take a look at it. Tell us a little bit about what you have in Spelljammer that's special. Yeah, so Spelljammer, what we did is we spread out our Platinum Edition because we have so few, like all of our Platinum Editions have all sold out. We'll never remake a Platinum Edition. So this is, so Spelljammer, we have, I think, 20 left out of the thousand that we made. They're almost sold out, but we wanted to make sure that we had one to show so that people understood who don't know us what we do, like, like what the highest tier of our boxes are. So yeah, I mean, you, with our Platinum Editions, we only make a thousand, they sell out, and then they're gone forever. So, but, but you know, we, a lot of times with, when we do like a Spelljammer Platinum Edition, we'll also do a, a Silver Edition, something that's a little more affordable that might be around for a little bit longer. Excellent. Anything else here that you want to highlight for us? Anything uh, coming down the road or just recently released? Yeah, one thing I just want to call out if this, you know, if, if Gen Con is still going on or even after Gen Con, because we'll, we'll make them available on our website. We are doing a five-year B&G anniversary dice set. It's a, a semi-precious stone dice set for the rogue and for the barbarian in honor of Beetle and the characters Beetle and Grimm. They're in like a carved wood box. Uh, they're really, really nice dice, really beautiful. So if you have a chance to get your hands on them, I recommend you do. We're only doing 100 of the barbarian sets and 300 of the Beetle Rogue sets. I, it's been five years already? It has, if you can believe it. I remember when y'all were uh, announced back at D&D Live, I think it was, da back in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, the, the water deep. The Water Deep was our first box, right. and, and it's already been five years. It's crazy. Yeah, we were there at the announcement, and we were one of the first ones to pre-order that very first set, so I just can't believe it's been five years already. Yes. Congratulations on everything y'all have done so far. Well, thank you for always being there every step of the way. We we love the Gallant Goblin, so thank you. Thank you so much. I do watch, One more question I want to ask you, because this is what I've been asking around the Gen, the Gen Con sure. booth, uh, everything over the past couple of days. This is an opportunity to meet your fans, and the people who have had stories told at their table based on what y'all have developed. Have you had any fan interactions here that have stood out, people telling you about how your, the products you have made have made a difference at their table? Yeah, I mean, there's been plenty of those. What I love is when our customers start selling my box for me. Uh -huh. You know, someone will come by and they'll have a bunch of friends and they'll be like, look, I have to show you this. I have the Spelljammer Platinum. You've got to look at this. And I get to just stand there and say, yeah, everything he's saying is, or she's saying is absolutely right. You know, you should listen to them. So that's, those are my favorite fan interactions when they do the work for me. That's very helpful. And it's also, nothing, nothing sells it more than a fellow gamer telling you how yeah. much fun they had with it. But I also, you know, I also do love to talk to someone about how did they run Witchlight compared to how I ran Witchlight. Because yeah. I love DMing, I love DMing using the boxes. So it's, it's, I love to hear people say, oh, when I was in, you know, Hither, I ran the swamp this way. I love those stories. Oh. It's so great. I can't wait to see what you'll have coming down the road. Hopefully we'll get our hands on this big boy here pretty soon because yep. I'm excited to go through that one. You know that one's going to hit our channel the moment we get it. So congratulations again, and I hope you have a wonderful Gen Con. Hey, thank you so much. Stay tuned to the Gallant Goblin for the latest from Gen Con 2023. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.